I was asked by World Vision UK if I uh, would consider writing a song for the terrible disaster in the Philippines. And um, it was a great privilege, but also really quite daunting because the need is now, it's, a very, it's obviously a very current situation. And I think that kind of pressure from an artistic point of view is sometimes very good, but also the fact that if this is a very real situation. It's not a fantasy, it's not romantic, it's not anything that, you know, it's not fiction, it's fact. And the fact is, people have died, people are dying, people are lost. <clears throat> and you know, in this situation, in this instance, because it's such a big issue, I prayed. You know, I'm a praying person. And um, I thought the only way that I can really get into this is uh, and to try to have some kind of insight into this is to pray, to see if I can get more of a spiritual insight um, and to ask, you know, God for his uh, insight into, into this situation. So that process for me was um, a very powerful one. And uh, I don't pray it in the same way every time I, I write a piece of music. There's a spiritual aspect to, to all of my music. But this situation, I wanted it to be real to me. And sometimes, you know, you get desensitized to these visuals of, of disasters, unfortunately, because we're living in a time where there are many earthquakes, there are many hurricanes. Um, there's, many, there's a lot of famine, there's a lot of war, there's a lot of terrible things going on. Um, and we see a lot of it all the time. And so I really wanted to put my heart in the position that I could receive and feel uh, for this, so that it would become real. The thing that hit me was hope. And it was interesting, because then I spoke to World Vision UK the next day, and they said, we really want this to be, you know, to, let's talk about hope. And I said, well, that's fantastic, because that's what I'm feeling. And you may say, well, that's quite obvious, we want to talk about hope. But, you know, that is the thing. We do need hope, and these people need hope. They need, desperately need, to think um, that, that all is not lost. I watched an interview of a, a group of young girls on BBC in the Philippines saying, we thought this was our last day. We thought that's it, we thought the world was ending. And the world hasn't ended, but the world has ended uh, in many ways. And so they need hope. Uh, and so that's really what I'm trying to say in this song, The Light of Hope. To the ones who have been broken Out on the edge of the world Who can count the cost Of the lives we've lost Who can repay I think one of the things that we need to remember, and it's something that World Vision obviously is very focused on, is the plight of children that are displaced and lost um, and found uh, uh, in a situation like this. And it's always terrifying. I remember um, th in Thailand years ago when the tsunami happened, and f that realization suddenly of, goodness me, there are thousands, hundreds and thousands of, of, of children that are completely at risk. And this is a very real situation that's happening uh, in the Philippines right now. We can imagine children who've lost their, their mothers and fathers, their brothers and sisters se separated, um, babies, toddlers, you can imagine, crying, worried, scared. They're at risk from exploitation, trafficking, dying, injuries not being found in time. World Vision, fortunately, I know, have set up, I think, about 40, at least 40 safe places where, where children can be um, kept under their watchful care and fed and looked after. And so, you know, this is a huge thing that I, I think I want to encourage people to, to, to support the work of World Vision for the sake of the children, at least. Every human life is precious, everyone. But these poor, you know, the babies and the children that are, have been left is devastating. So. My heart is, again, that the, the children will be looked after and that, that what people give will um, go a significant way towards these new safe areas, safe centres and, and people, trustworthy people being there to help them.